Right, Chris, ready or not, here I come. And he's definitely not in here. He's so good at this game. Ouch. Huh, look at that. I didn't know Mr Grumbles liked playing Egyptian mummies. You're doing a fabulous job of dressing him up as one. Chris, this is no time for joking. Mr Grumbles has hurt his arm and I'm bandaging him up. In that case, you're doing a terrible job of it. You should have come for a spot of nurse training with me. A spot of what watting? Time for investigation. Ouch. Welcome to the weirdest hospital ward you'll ever see. These patients aren't just sick, they're not even human. This is the nurse training room at City University in London, and it's just like a normal ward, except all the patients are dummies. But these aren't just any dummies, they're smart dummies. To train the student nurses, they've been programmed with real illnesses, just like real patients. Just a bit creepier. Ugh. Before they can become fully-fledged nurses, the students have to show they can deal with all kinds of different situations. And these dummies are... The... These dummies are the key to putting them through their paces. Because these dummies are smart enough to show the symptoms of all kinds of different illnesses. They have pulses, make vomiting sounds, and can even talk to you. I'm so sick. Even though Chris is a doctor, he's never trained as a nurse. Until today. Shouldn't he be dressed for the part? Well, that's more like it. How are you doing, Ali? Hi, Chris. How are you? Training alongside Chris is Alison. Together, they'll be caring for Jasper. Nurse Melissa will be monitoring their every move, from how they take blood pressure to their bedside manner, as well as controlling how the dummies feel. But can Chris hack it as a nurse? First test, taking a pulse. How long do you measure it for? One minute. A minute. My system has did it for six seconds and multiplied by <laughs> ten, which is a lot less accurate. So I make the pulse about 85. I got 82. You got 82, so I'm not that far off. Close enough. It's not how we're told to do it, but close enough. Ooh, not a good start, Chris. I think we're going to ramp it up a bit. I think we're going to make Jesper get really unwell. <laughs> oh, he's been sick. <laughs> what should we do? Should we sit him up? Um, we should maybe remove his oxygen mask. Oh, yeah, because that... And I'll go, get, I'll go get a bowl. Here we go. There, there, Jasper. All right, Jasper, there you go. We've got a vomit bowl for you if, you if you're sick again. Oh, here we go. Second time round, he's caught the pretend puke, but he's made a big mistake. Any ideas what it is? Chris, we should probably have some apron and gloves on right now. Oh, no. Completely forgot gloves and apron, so I'd be covered in vomit and my hands would be covered, and that means any other patients I touched, I might give them an infection that Jasper had. Not good practice. Oh, dear. Jasper is covered in imaginary vomit, and to make the final test more realistic, Nurse Melissa is sending in his pretend sons. Chris will need to look after his patient and reassure his fake family. So what have you guys done to him? He was all right yesterday. Well, well he's, he's, he's suddenly got a bit worse. He started vomiting. We don't quite know what's going on. But, yeah, but, um... you know, can't you give him something to stop the sickness? Yeah, we'll, we'll do that. Well, we started the, the fluid. Uh, it, it's difficult because we just need a bit more space around the patient to do the work. And I think, obviously, Jasper's covered in vomit. Yeah, it's maybe a bit distressing for the two of you to see your dad like this. Jasper, do you like your relatives around? No. So would you like to take a seat outside and we'll okay. come get you? Well, will somebody come and get us we'll come whenever get you. Yeah, everything's of settled down, OK? Thanks a lot. Okay. See you in a bit. Oh, they were a tough crowd. Looks like Jasper wanted to get rid of his family as much <laughs> as we did. Test over. Chris has been put through his paces like a real trainee nurse, but did he pass? So how do you think I did? I think you did OK. I think the pulse I was not quite sure about. I thought I'd get in trouble for that. And obviously... No aprons and gloves until Ali remembered. can't believe I forgot that. Uh, relatives, though, I thought you did really well. I think you worked well together, you reassured them, and they seemed to leave happy. And Jasper's obviously much happier now, so... So they may look a bit creepy, but remember, these dummies are helping nurses to help get you fixed up. Listen, you've been watching everything today. How do you honestly think I did? <laughs> All right, I'll get a bowl. Don't forget the apron and...